Societal Change from Adversity and Fear by Jacob Hooper. My research question is, why and how does fear and adversity make people more driven to make societal change? First, we need to look at the concept of moral courage and courage in general. In a quote by R.L. Chatter and Ted Thomas from the stimulus material, Moral Courage and Intelligent Disobedience, states, courage is the capacity to overcome fear, the fear of shame and humiliation in order to admit one's mistakes, to confess wrong, to reject evil conformity, to denounce injustice, and to defy moral or imprisonment orders. This explains why individuals, which I'll make, mention later on, like Rosa Parks, James Meredith, Oscar Schindler, and Raul Wallenberg, all stood up to adversity and fear because they had the capacity to reject the evil and define moral actions or standards. In conclusion, courage inspired individuals to transcend their fears and confront adversity with bravery and determination. Now we must address what is fear in its definition in the first place. It can be shown in a quote in the inaugural address by FDR where he states, fear is nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. Furthermore, in another quote by Shamila Daki, an assistant professor at the University of Punjab, Lahore, Pakistan, states, fear takes one outside the comfort zone and compels a person to take a new step which might involve risk. In such a case, risk is related to fear. In order to grow in life, one has to take risks and to embrace fear. This show, these two quotes show that fear can have very different meanings and effects in different situations. Some examples in history that help to try to answer this question is the actions of the life of Rosa Parks, who defied the segregation laws in the South during the time by refusing to leave her seat in the front of the bus for a white man, resulting in her arrest, and later on led to many protests from many civil rights leaders, including Martin Luther King Jr. Eventually, Rosa Parks would serve as a key figure in the civil rights movement and would succeed in, in attaining equality for African Americans in America. Another example from the civil rights movement, according to Matt Mullen, who has a bachelor's degree in journalism, states how James Meredith was a courageous enough to break down educational barriers by being the first black man to attend the University of Mississippi in 1961. And it was a major step forward for attaining equal rights for African Americans at the time. These two examples show how civil rights movement uh, demonstrate how adversity and fear encourage people to take action. According to Stephanie Fagan Jones, a professor at Columbia University Teachers College, describes how Oscar Schindler saved thousands of Jews from the extermination camp by hiring them in as a factory, even though he faced the risk of being caught by the Nazis and put to death. Another example from the Holocaust, according to Amy Tickenen, a who has a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Michigan, states, how Raul Wallenberg saved 50,000 Jews in Budapest by sending them away with papers of immigration to Palestine. All of these examples help to show fear in different situations does make people more willing to make societal change and save others. So the solution is confronting fear and embracing it. According to Justin James Kennedy, PhD, and is a professor of applied neuroscience and organizational behavior at UGSM Monarch Business School states, interestingly, when fear dominates our neural pathways, our inclination towards exploration and risk taking diminishes. It is in these moments of apprehension that we find ourselves clinging to the familiar, hindering true growth. This shows that societal change comes from when individuals are fearless against adversity and fear. Furthermore, in another quote by Raphael Anufu, PhD scholar in medicinal chemistry at the University of Michigan states, embracing change and overcoming fear requires resilience and courage. 
This further shows that embracing fearlessness and courage in difficult situations like was shown with Rosa Parks and Jay Meredith is required. However, a counter claim against this would be that fear can also have it be a negative thing, and adversity can set people back with no way to fight against it. According to the his according to the article, the history and the psychology of fear could can affect this, states fear can give way to anger, hate, and violence, all of which we can be harnessed to for political ends. Furthermore, we can use the previous quote from before in a quote in, in the stimulus material, a novel address by FDR, where he states fear is nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes immediate efforts to convert, retreat, and to advance. These two quotes show how fear can cause negative effects and emotions in people, leading to division among society instead of societal change. I would, however, argue in my conclusion that in most times, fear is used to create positive change in society with the historical examples I gave before, Rosa Parks and James Meredith, breaking down racist barriers and creating equality with the civil rights movement, despite the risk of being killed or shunned in society. Os Oscar Schindler and Ronald Wallenberg also demonstrate this because they could have been tortured and thrown into extermination camps themselves if they were ever caught, if they continued to help the Jewish people because they knew it was the right action to save hum the human lives. Also, in the previous quote by Shamila Dothi shows that embracing fear in different ways can be a tool to encourage pe people and society as a whole to change. This proves that fear makes people more driven to make societal change because we can only create fear, we can, or we can only create change by embracing and facing fear and adversity head on. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob, um, what evidence? Uh, let me take that back. How valid and reliable are the sources that you used, and how do you know, and which sources didn't work for you? Is, are those your sources? Yes. So I made sure that my sources were very reliable by checking the educational background of the authors, and also not trying to pull uh, low-level information from just common search engines and using uh, research websites like EBSCO and Consensus. Okay. And then, um, can you explain the level of certainty you have about your conclusion? Uh, I'm very certain in my conclusion because we can obviously see that back 50 years ago when, uh, when obviously Rosa Parks and Jay Meredith were facing this uh, racism and, and uh, oppression in the South, they decided to take action. And because of this action, 50 years later on, African Americans have more rights and have fair rights compared to everyone else in America. Okay, thank you.